Hey there guys, Neil here with my first impressions for the recently released Apple Music app for Android. So, I wanted to get a brief overview. Um, if you've used the Beats Music app um, that was released back before the purchase or around the purchase of Beats by Apple, then it'll look a little bit familiar, but um, we're now under the Apple brand and name and all that, so I thought I'd um, go through the process. So it's a pretty uh, straightforward initiation or installation process. Once you install the app, uh, you can sign in with your existing Apple ID account. Um, if you don't have one, you can create one at the time of setup. Um, the one thing to remember, even though you're starting a free trial or if you start paying um, outright, outright from the start, then um, you will need to have a valid credit card on file. So just something to keep uh, note of there. But once you go through that, um, it's a pretty straightforward process. You'll, um, if you have not used a trial, you'll get a free three month trial and then it'll be uh, $9.99 a month for individual users. And I think it's $14.99 a month after that for family or um, after the three months for a family subscription. Uh, once you've signed in, you'll pick uh, at least three genres that, you're, you, um, that you like. I picked rock, rap, and classic rock. And then you'll pick uh, some favorite artists. So um, I just picked Snoop Dogg, Kid, Cuddy, and somebody else. Just pick whatever showed up, I picked three of them. Uh, once you've done that, you'll save. You'll, you'll hit save and you'll go right into the app. So um, you'll see the main screen that I've, I'm scrolling up and down through is... Um, artists and music and things like that that are recommended for me based on uh, what um, artists I pick so news and stories and things like that so uh, you load it load um, information about the artist related songs tracks and things like that um, the UI is actually pretty good you get a good mix of material design with some of the iOS look and feel and colors and things like that um, near as I can tell, it is mostly just the colors of iOS, but you do get a good, um, it does integrate a lot of the good material UI um, elements, so um, the interactions, buttons, colors, or sorry, not colors, but UI and things like that. Um, you can also view or um, view new artists and um, tracks and things like that by clicking on new. Um, you can you'll it'll automatically jump you into all genres and then you can filter it down by anything you like So let's say I want to look at hip-hop and rap then after uh, some loading it'll give me um, some interest based on that mm -hmm. um, It will or you can also get various other lists as well. So things like curated lists activity playlists. So if you want to um uh, Have a playlist by uh, let's say dancing or in my case I want to good uh, let's say running mix or workout mix then I can pick that it'll um, set a list for that and um, I and then it'll uh, provide recommendations and update um, based on what you listen to and like and things like that um, that's pretty much the bulk of that there there's also radio so if you just want to have a station and go from there so if you want a particular um, style uh, genre or anything like that you can do that as well so scrolling through you get all the different um, genres as well and um, other uh, feature stations so if you want to see what's um, popular now you can get things like that as well and then you can also connect to artists that you like as well so um, liking posts and following artists will get you more curated and uh, filtered news that way as well so if you want more um, tailored news to you then that's where you under the connect tab you can get do that as well and then you can create playlists if you want based on music in your library and things you've liked from Apple music as well um, I haven't said anything up there so there's nothing for me in that section but if I were to do that it'll all be categorized there as well um, so that's really all there is for that um, it's a pretty straightforward app very easy to use very um, simple um, uh, UI is there's very little learning curve. I base once I signed in my only issue was remembering my Apple ID password But once you sign in um, it's very step-by-step step. everything is uh, plainly and clearly written so um, You don't really need to figure anything out if you need to get into play music is very easy search is easy um, You can get your history as well. So and recent searches, so it's all um, Available for you and you don't or it's all directly available so it's nothing where you have to go find things it's, and it's all um, exp 
exploratory so you don't really have to uh, wonder what's going on it's all presented very simply and straightforward um, other than that you have uh, as far as settings go there's not too much to adjust if you're on a limited connection or don't want to have anything going on in the background over your mobile network you can have your downloads happen over uh, Wi-Fi you can have your uh, a, a sort a minimal sort list so by artist or title um, if you want to allow cellular playback, you can do that and then customize the audio quality, cache, con um, explicit content, things like that. Um, that's really all there is for that. Um, um, I believe in the app as well, there was somewhere about, um, can let's say you want to stop your um, subscription. I found it before, I think it's under your account. Oh, so if you go into your account, uh, you can set your name, nickname, uh, profile picture, um, and then if you manage, when you go under manage your membership, you can, um, if you need to want to cancel it or turn off the automatic renewal, that can be done as well. And then um, if you want to um, adjust the artist that you're interested in and the genres as well, then you can um, adjust that as well. So um, if I want to add R&B and Latin and um, if it uh, if you start listening to music and you, there's other preferred artists you want to add, then that can be done as well. So, uh, just something to play around with. All it's all under the account your, um, your account settings. Um, the app itself is in beta, so uh, just something to um, consider there in case you have issues and um, anything like that or questions and things like that. Um, so far, performance for me hasn't been that bad. Overall, it's pretty smooth. Um, Load times have been okay, but it might be a mix of uh, internet connection and maybe everyone using it all at once. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, I've had no issues so far, um, so I'm going to actually play around with it a little bit for the next couple of months with the free membership, see how it compares to Pandora. But um, other than that, um, it is worth checking out. It is otherwise a free app, but you do have to pay for that membership once your trial period is over. So something to consider, especially if you're not ready to pay for it at the end of your trial, or if you are, just remember it's a if it's at least for the individual membership, it'll be nine ninety nine on your credit card. Uh, but that's all there is for that. Um, I do recommend it. So, uh, or I do recommend as far as a good um, UI news music curation goes, I do recommend it. So I, I'm gonna play around with the music features and uh, playback as far as variety and see how well it. Um, goes for me on that front see if it's any better or worse than for example i use pandora a lot so i'll come my basis is going to be pandora i know some people prefer spotify or audio or other music streaming services um so i'll see if it at least for me if it compares to pandora i know for me that will be my gauge and to me they're all more or less the same but um i'll come do that comparison when i finish my review but um that is all for this um review if you want to get in touch with me you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on twitter at pateln01